Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Warmaster 101 here bringing you something completely different, completely out there. <coughs> mm -hmm. We got a package. Right here. This package was sent to me by Killer Whale, who's the CEO of Fishing Planet. Now, for those of you who don't know, Fishing Planet, I will be providing links throughout the course of this evening. And in fact, I'll just get that ready for you now. Let's go. Mm hmm. Close that down. Just hit that and go. Then, in fact, I'm just going to create a quick link for it. So, for a second while I type this out. I'll add this to my timers, in fact. Mm-hmm. Alright, now that's up and running. Now if I get that and go that works. Yeah, there we go. So if I go, I know, buddy. I'm just like when I'm typing shit out, I, I move forward so I can see with the keys. But if I go, and there you go. Now you can go. Uh, there's a link in chat. It will take you directly to the fishing planet. Uh, stuff. In fact, let me just sort out my camera here. So that is very, very blurry. There we go. Right. So. We got a package. And yes, it's very, very reflective. And there is a green sticker here. It's kind of cool having the green sticker there. Look at that. It actually goes. In fact, that's better than my green screen. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe I should just get a giant green sticker and just put it up there. What do you reckon? But yeah. Uh, there's the package that we got and I'm just about to open this up and we're going to have a look see what's going on yeah there are people hyped for this because uh, the new merch uh, was released in the store they didn't do an announcement for it which I was kind of, I thought was kind of weird but honestly I'm doing a full review of this so got my uh, skeleton knife and then we're going to open this sucker up and see how we get on so here we go. There we go. And down the middle. Don't want to go too much, just want to score it. She's open. Okay, so first things that we notice is a couple of uh, the delivery dockets, which is perfectly fine. That's to be expected. Alright, first piece of equipment. <laughs> we have a Fishing Planet hat. Now, this is supposed to be a waterproof hat, so we will be testing this in a bit. Let's go and take it out. I'll do a full review on this. Let's not damage packaging too much. A 
Fishing Planet cat. And, ah, oh, yes. Yes, according to the website, the buckle itself has the Fishing Planet logo on it. How cool is that? Oh, man. Fabric looks sweet. Fabric feels good. That is actually really nice. I'm loving the trimming on the outside here. That's great. And this is proper embossed because normally when you get uh, hats, they either have a front where which has got all the graphic on it, or they'll put a patch over the top of a regular thing. But this is embossed because there's the fabric on the inside. Which gives you the logo on the outside. So, yeah, that's great. That's proper workmanship right there. I love my hats, by the way. Just so you know. I'm a hat guy. Uh, so, yeah. That is great. It's quite bouncy on, uh, on the cap. So, that's good. Let's take her off. Let's see how she fits. I know. I've got my hat off. It's terrible. So we pull that out of there, open up the clip, the clasp, pull some of the fabric through, then we put it on until it fit, uh, what is it, we constantly adjust it, keeping the clip open, this is the way you do this, just so you guys know, you keep the clip open, put it on, put it on so it's comfortable, then you close the clip, and then you take the hat off, and you just fit that tail back into the loop provided and there we go that looks good doesn't it oh man i'm going to be streaming with this on you're not going to see me take it off that man that looks fucking dope as fuck yeah yeah we're loving the hat we're loving the hat the hat is great just for the look of the hat alone and it feels nice it doesn't have you know sometimes with a new hat it feels like uh like it needs to be broken in this actually doesn't feel too bad I'm loving it. It's great. Right, so the next thing in this box that we've got here is this. Now, I don't know if you can see it properly, but there's a fishy pack box here. I don't know what's in this. From what I understand, there is something in there that's going to be like a dual set of some kind. Okay, right. This looks like Could be the real. Yeah, it's the real. Now I've got to load this up. So yeah, this should be fun. Oh man, that looks see. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Hendry. I really am. Honestly. Right. This is the reel. The spinning reel. That's the name of the spinning reel over here. Okay, that's the box it comes in. Got a jet black finish. Really nice. It's quite smooth to the touch as well. So let's get this thing opened. Oh, where did I put my knife? I'll put a knife around this one. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's one side. Got to do the other. There we go. Now to open it. There's the box. No, oh, bollocks. Fucking camera, behave. Right, here's the box. Now, it's a slide-out box, which aren't always the easiest to open. Especially when they've been sealed up good like this one has. That is just sign of quality, in my, in my opinion. If it's hard to open up the box, then it'll be hard to get out. Okay, right, we've got the box open. Excellent. Oh, wow, look at that. We've got a real box, uh, a real carry case here. 
Feels like felt. And it's got drawstrings on either side, so that will be good to be using. And again, it's proper Fishing Planet emb uh, embossed from the inside. So, yeah, we're looking at good quality material again. Really, really nice. Okay, the reel itself comes in this foam packaging. Really nice. I like that. Now I've got to try and get this out without breaking it. <laughs> okay, so we'll just take that up. Okay, getting it out of the box is going to be a problem without breaking the, the foam, the styrofoam. Oh, no, no, it peels out. That's all right. So, let's be gentle, don't destroy it. <laughs> Okay, that does feel quite light. And we'll get the arm out. I like that. That's uh, right. Uh, what is it? It's uh, default set to right. Let's uh, bring this up here. So, what we've got here is a selector uh, bar on the, uh, that goes through the middle. It's default to right, but if you wanted to, you can unscrew this side. And bring it round to this side. That way, if you're left, if you're a left-handed caster, you can cast with your left hand. I'm a right-handed caster, so I'll just go with that, which is nice. I didn't. Uh, this was sent to me by. Oh shit! It was me not paying attention there. Uh, this was sent to me to by the CEO of Fishing Planet himself, asking me to review it for him. So let's get this engaged. There we go. That's great. Lock it against your body. Now, when you uh, any time you're putting together a reel, guys, this is a, just a free tip, but you only want to do it finger strength. So the very first time you hear a click, like I just did there, you want to stop tightening up because you don't want to ruin the thread on the inside. But action seems to be good. It's a front drag. Don't know if you can hear that, but. Drags were to be uh, easy. My one concern, if I was going to make a concern, no, no, it's fine. The line clip is just here. You can see it? No, you can't see it. There it is. Bring the bail arm around. There's the line clip. And it's quite well recessed, but for quick action, just put your fingernail underneath it like you would with any other. It's quite a shallow spool on this, so if I was going to do any upgrades, I would want to be doing it on that. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Now we've got a quick release for the, the bail arm, allowing you to actually arm fight the fish if you wanted to. Underneath, that's quite nice. The overall look of the reel itself is quite uh, good. Let's have a look. Let's have a read of the loading on this. I've got the loading written on the reel itself. Sometimes, you, well, most of the time, you do actually have a uh, loading read right up on the reel itself. Let's give it a. Yeah, just so you know. Fishing Planet logo is also right underneath the spool. That is sweet. Let's take the drag. Uh, to, when you've got a front drag reel and you want to change your spool, you have to literally undo the drag completely and remove that part. And then you can take the, reel, uh, the spool off the reel. So... Yeah, the gear. Uh, there's all the gears on the inside uh, of the spool just there to reattach it. All you have to do is put it back on. Retighten. About there should do it. But really, really nice reel. I'm liking it. It's got a very good action on it. it feels uh, natural. So. 
It's a bit too blurry. Uh, well, is that my end or is it you guys? Uh, you guys end. Well, that's nice. It's got the name of the reel underneath. About there. Don't know if you guys can see that properly, but yeah, that's a very very nice reel. It's got a very very smooth action to it. All in all, very very nice. Gonna have a look and see what else is in the box. Right, we've got nothing else in the box. That's oh, hang on. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, underneath we've got a spare. Uh, underneath uh, in the bottom of the box, we've got a separation tray, and you've got uh, instructions on maintenance as well as a spare real rubber. Never get rid of those because uh, they can mean the difference between buying a new reel and not needing to. So we put that back in. And this beautiful puppy's staying out, just so you guys know. So we got that. And that goes back in there. And that's the inlay. So the reel would sit in this big recess. And around here, you'd see where the uh, thing is. So to take this apart, we just lock off the reel against our chest and back do what we did. And unreel it. Arm comes off, goes back in the box. I will be doing, uh, in fact, I won't actually be loading this with a uh, reel. Yep, give me a second. I'll pull that up for you. Not a problem. There you go, there's a link to the Fishing Planet thing. I'm really liking this uh, real bag though, that's really, really nice. It, it's got that nice felt feeling and uh, the, I'm loving the embroidery on the front, it's great. Right, okay, so we'll put the lid back on this. And I was right, there is no rod in the, in the box either, just so you know. Yeah, everybody wants to see a fishing planet ice fishing, but it never it's it's not gonna happen anytime soon, I don't think. Right, we've got a mug. And this isn't any kind of mug, this is a steel mug. This is our proper fishing mug, I like it. It's like a survival camp sort of thing. Let's have a quick look. So opening up the box, as you can see, it's uh nicely packaged. Comes wrapped, so Let's just take that off. Don't want to damage it. For fuck's sake, it's metal. Of course you're not going to damage it. Right, there she is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel the quality on that as well. Now, when you go... Uh, what was it? When you're buying a mug, you want to make sure it's all nice and uh, there's no crap on the inside. But uh, if, you got, if you want... Uh, these guys invested quality in this stuff. That won't wear off anytime soon. That is actually, it feels like it's actually part of the mug. It isn't just printed. And that is proper, it looks like gold. But how cool is that, eh? I reckon that's fucking brilliant. I'm loving that, I'm gonna have to try and uh, get into hot drinks. We'll pour some Pepsi into there when I wanna be pej. But yeah, that looks cool. I'm liking it. The, I don't know what that is. It looks like it's part of the mug. Yeah, it's just part of the mug. It's a bit of a sharp bit. Of... Feels good in the hand. I mean, what else can I say? It's a mug. <laughs> it's metal. You can tell it's metal because I'm wearing a ring and uh, you can definitely hear it. So, yeah. Burn it all? What are you talking about, Larry? Come on. It's a bit of uh, nice merch right there. Okay, so that's effectively all that we've got. We've got the new hat, which I love. It's such an easy hat. There was no rod. There's the reel, and there's the mug. These are the three things I got, so won't complain. There is no rod unless uh, they... Because this is the box I got. Does it look like it's big enough to have a 
bloody rod in here. <laughs> Honestly, there is no rod. There's the empty box for the mug. I'll probably put that uh, back in there. We'll keep it for best. But no, re no rod. No rod. So you never know. That might be on its way still. So you never know. Uh, right, so I'm going to put this back in here. If you guys want a link to the merch store, let me know. Oh, what happened there? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's just come on glue, that's fine. So, we'll put that back in here. What is this, QVC? Hey, Jack, how's it going? Let's do a giveaway for a mug box. I don't think so, but uh, yeah, it might fit. No, I don't think even, uh, what was it? The smallest telescopic I have ever seen was about that long. The box is about this big. It was about that long. It won't work. Yeah, no new t-shirts, no nothing like that, but uh, you never know. Uh, maybe another day, but that is effectively all there is. So we've got an, a really, really nice reel. I'm... Uh, Gonna keep in, I'm, I'm going to be keeping this in the box uh, until we do a uh, proper Fishing Planet live stream. But yeah, there is the hat. Really, really nicely embroidered around the center. It, it's like three bits of fabric. you got a uh, black underside, gold trimming with a black. And it has a very felt-like feel to it on the top. The It's already naturally curved, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Uh, the fabric on this itself, that isn't a patch. They've actually embroidered it properly because there's the inside, that's the outside. And you can definitely tell because even the clasp, I'm loving that. The clasp itself has the Fishing Planet logo on it. See that? So I'm like, bang, straight away. I'm loving that shit, you know? Is it signed by a bass? No, it's not signed by a bass. But, uh, yeah, I'm loving the reel. I'm loving the hat. The mug is great. Check out the Fishing Planet uh, merch store. I just put up. Honestly, get those orders in, man. They're great. Honestly, the equipment is lovely. Uh, I'm loving the hat. I'm going to be wearing this for the rest of the day. I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I went a bit high pitched there, but uh, yeah, I'm loving the mug. I'm loving the reel. I'm loving the hat. Uh, the rod hasn't arrived yet, but I will be uh, doing that as well. I'm solely interested in the proper loadout for this reel. Uh, according to the web, according to the website, it should be a uh, twenty odd pound, well, twenty five pound reel. But there is no indication on the reel itself for the specs, so I'm uh, gonna have to do some research on that. Ah, uh, dear, are you going to upload a new fishing trip video on YouTube with new rigs? I can actually do uh, a rigs video for YouTube if you guys want, uh, whether it be feeder, float, or whatever. Uh, I don't mind doing them. So uh, I can do that, that's not a problem. Uh, last year I was mainly going on uh, a feeder setup. It's one of my favourite ways of fishing because it's lazy. It's because they hit the same spot all the time and just pull in bigger and bigger fish. But anyway, uh, that's effectively all I have to say. I, I can't, hang on, there's the specs. Ah, right, okay. The specs are here for the reel. Let's uh, get the camera over there. There's the specs for the reel. Let's read them off to you. Light on it. So the gear ratio is uh, 5.2 per rotation with a bearing of 11 plus 1. That's a bloody good uh, real capacity is 0.235 millimeter uh, up to 100, uh, 120 meters. 160 at uh, uh, 0.60 millimeter up to 200, sorry, up to 160 meters or 
285 millimeter up to 120 millimeters. Overall capa uh, real capacity is that. Max drag of 12 ki uh, kg, which is it's about what? 20. Two twenty-five pound reel gearing. That's not too bad. So I could load this up with fifteen pound and just tight. Uh, what is it on uh, loose drag and then just gradually tighten up until the fish starts to tire. So that would work really well. I can put up a fifteen pound setup on it. My one disappointing thing is because it went through UPS. So I had to a go and get the damn box and b. It was damaged in transit because somebody decided to use it as a fucking football around the warehouse. That's what UPS does. I know, my brother works there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna kick it around the warehouse. Yeah, it was definitely my brother that did that. Eh? But uh, now, uh, when you're looking at getting stuff from here, make sure that you. Uh, know exactly what you want to get and go for it. But uh, I'm loving the merch. Uh, it looks really, really good quality. Uh, the mug, the hat, the reel, can't complain at all. Uh, if I was going to give any minor criticism, the company could, uh, what was it, Fishing Planet, could have gone through a different delivery system. Uh, something like uh, Parcel Force Worldwide or another. FedEx or something like that, you know, I, w I would not have gone for UPS. UPS don't care about the little guy, you know what I mean? But other than that, there's not much else I can say about this review. Uh, the hat is, I I'm just loving the fucking, oh, that is such a nice hat. It really is, I'm loving it. <laughs> right, uh, well. I'm going to get offline now. Uh, I'm going to get ready for a different type of stream, but I just want you guys to see this and see that, uh, yeah, we got merch in the Fisher Planet store now. Uh, that it looks like it's going to be good stuff. I'm literally waiting for the rod to turn up now. But other than that, um, which I, by which case I will be then loading up the reel, and the, uh, I'll be taking the rod down to my local area of 15 pounds set up and I'll see if I can hook into a pike but uh and uh give it a proper good test that way I mean hopefully the old scar will be down there but if he isn't oh well we'll go for another one anyway but anyway thanks very much for being here guys you uh you feel free to stick around uh I will be going back live in about 20 minutes where I will be on a different game but until then please take care have fun and I'll catch you all next time have a good night everyone